What is up, beautiful people? It's me, Ty J, back again with another one. And today, as you can see from the title, I am coming at you with a little bit of knowledge before the year is up. These are some questions that I have to answer for you. I have to answer them for myself. And I just got to get it in before the new year comes. Today is December 30th, so I have one more day until New Year's Eve. I'm not doing anything at all because the COVID is running around like crazy. But these are some questions to definitely ask yourself going into the new year. So before I get into it, I do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. So go ahead right now, subscribe to my channel. Don't wait and hit the bell right next to the subscribe button. So you know every time I post a video. All right, guys. So as you know it, I am giving you guys 10 questions to ask yourself. And I will be asking myself as well. This is literally grizzling. I literally drank, this is like the last cup of it. I drank like the whole bottle last night and I was like drunk and I didn't even realize that I was drunk until it was all over. Anyways, yes. So of course I have my lovely notebook that I love to write everything down in. And I have the questions here. These are just, the title is basically 10 questions to process or answer before you wrap up 2021. Or you can say 12 questions, I mean 10 questions to ask, us and ask yourself and answer before you dive deep, deep into 2022. So it's like a, a give take kind of thing, right? So the first question that I have for myself, and you can ask yourself the same thing, is what did 2021 teach me about myself? This is a super cute sweater, I'm so sorry. But I hate it when my collar is like off because then I'd be looking like a mess. But anyways, what did 2021 teach me about myself? 2021 taught me hmm, that I'm beautiful, that I am. Oh my God, that's a trick question. I'm so not ready. <laughs> so I know that it made me realize that I have a lot of feelings. I have a lot of emotions. I am more of a people person than I expected myself to be. I thought that I was very introverted and I'm realizing that I'm only introverted around people that make me uncomfortable, but or around uncomfortable places or places where I don't really want to be. So I don't really go places where I don't want to be anymore. So there's a rarely a times where I'm uncomfortable or I am introverted. So I'm realizing that that's what taught me something about myself. Um, what else did 2021 teach me? 2021 also taught me that I can do it. Like, I can do it all by myself. Like, I can do that all by myself. When it comes to that, I mean, like, of course, I'm hella cheap, but it's teaching, it taught me that I can take care of myself. Although, yeah, my sister is my lifeline. She's my entire world, my entire being. But it's, it taught me that I don't have to be with someone to make shit happen okay and it's also helped me realize that i'm a boss like i'm a boss it helped me realize that i'm slowly becoming who i i want to be for myself i love myself so much and it's also helping me 2021 also taught me that i have to be happy with me not just happy with me but the things around me as well because it's not just about you it's about who you surround or what you surround yourself with right so those, that's a few things that 2021 taught me. Number two, who showed up for me and how can I nurture those relationships? Hmm. Oh my God. Like the literally, I want to give you the first thing that comes to my mind is the first thing that comes to my mind was of course my sister. She's all always come all always come comes through. She always comes through for every single thing. Um, my principal, she's amazing. I love her so much. She's come through like crazy, crazy a lot this year that I would not even have expected it because I, I'm. it's hard for me. Like I've been through so many different jobs where it's like, oh, this shit is not working for me. But when I say like we have like a, a relationship where like mom, daughter, like a best friend type, you know, like we could be, we, she, it's like she had me at such a young age. So we like really sisters, but we're not like a mom, daughter type relationship. I love her so much, but yeah, 
she she came through for me um it was a time where I was like completely out of it and I was just I just couldn't and she came like brought me dinner I needed tissue she brought me tissue it was so much stuff like she just listened listen listen she listens to literally every single thing like she's like my walk-in diary like literally <laughs> I would go up in there and I, her office she knows me. She knows I'm coming. Like, I'm coming in. I'm, no, I'm not waiting. I need to talk to you. So she came through. She's really, she don't know it, but she really helped me become me. Although I was becoming myself by myself in the experiences in life, like, she has really put me in a mental space unconsciously where I love how I am every day. And I love that I can look to her for different things that I can't look to nobody else besides my sister, you know. So, yeah, she, that she came through. Um, who else came through for me? I came through for myself. Of course. <laughs> um, who else came through for me? God, for sure, has come through for me wholeheartedly, definitely. I Those are the four people, for sure, that on the top of my head, I cannot... Like, literally deny that they have not came through for me. Um, I really hope that I am not missing anybody right now. If I am missing someone, I am so, so, so sorry. But when I say, like, genuinely, like, came through for me, like, repeatedly, like, those are the people, but myself, God, um, my principal, and my sister, those are the people that I hold dearly to my heart. I hold a lot of people dear to my heart, of course. But they came through the roof, okay? <laughs> How can I nurture those relationships by just, you know, keeping things the same, keep being myself, keep being open to, keep learning, keep being open to other perspectives of life and things like that. And just being, staying prayerful, staying, giving my gratitude to God at all times and just respecting myself, you know? Number three. What did I need to accept about myself and the other people in my life? That I'm a unicorn. Like, I know that I'm a very much so, I'm very much so different than most people my age. I don't like a lot of things that other people like. Um, I know that my love is different than most people. And I have to accept that the, the love that I give out may not be the love that I receive and I have to be okay with that because I'm not the, I'm not the other people aren't me and I'm not them so that's what I realized and I had to accept it by myself and other people in my life um number four how did I cope with uncomfortable feelings I got drunk <laughs> not even lying I got drunk. I got drunk. <laughs> or I just, I wrote in my journal. Um, I talked about it. A lot of things that I release that I used to struggle with a lot talking about out loud. Um, I learned that it is okay to talk about how I'm feeling out loud to people that matter to me or I matter to. And it, they will guide me into the direction that I need to be in. So I talked about it a lot. Uh, I thought positively. I thought that even if I am feeling this way, I'm not going to feel this way forever. So those are the things that I, how did I cope with my uncomfortable feelings? Those are the things. Why remove people out of my life or things out of my life that I know didn't fit me anymore? Number five, how can I better manage my reactions to my feelings? I don't even know because I think that I've grown so much when we know every, you know, they say everything doesn't require a reaction. My nails are so freaking pretty, but everything doesn't require a reaction. So I think I've gotten so much better with acting versus reacting because reacting takes more of a thought. So I'm choosing to react negatively to negativity. You get what I'm saying? So if you don't understand it, I'm sorry. But I feel like reacting requires much more energy than 
acting. So I think that I've gotten so much better with coping with my feelings and when my feelings are hurt, I can discuss it with someone or I can say um, what helps me verbally, what helps me is saying verbally to that person, well, I'm not going to come at you negatively, even though I felt negatively from you. I'm not going to respond with negativity. And that helps me calm my feelings a little bit and rethink it and it allows me some time to think it through. Or walking away and allowing someone higher than me to deal with the problem rather than me reacting how I want to react. Um, number six, um, what in what ways will you take better care of yourself in 2022? Um, I want to go take care of my eyes more. So I'm going to get, make sure I get several glasses. I know that a couple years ago, I got two glasses. I've had these glasses for maybe like two years. I want to make sure I have enough money so if I lose my glasses, I can make sure I replace them. So I want to care for my eyes. I want to go to the dentist more. I want to go to the doctor more. Um... I want to take myself out. I want to date myself. I want to spend time with myself more, not just in the house. Because, you know, I love being in the house, but I mean, like, experiencing the world with myself. And I think that that's a lot of self-care. I already take a lot of baths. I already take, I already say no a lot. Uh, I already do a lot of facials. So, um, that's another way um, I will, what is another way that I will um, take better care of myself? Um... Love wise, I will continue to love myself unconditionally and put myself first. However, if I do meet a love, I will be sure to not discredit the things that I do and what I'm doing with my life right now and bring myself down to a level that I shouldn't be because I know I deserve better or I will not go into a situation where I have to bury the things that I'm feeling. So that's how I would better take care of myself. Um, I will allow someone to love me fully without realizing like, oh, oh this is triggering or thinking that it's going to happen the same way it happened before. I'm definitely going to not do that. How That's how I'm going to take better care of myself. Um, just, I'm just going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to be nice to me. That is a huge deal. Number seven, what 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 has been a barrier? What has been a barrier to me completing my goals and how I will remove the barriers in 2022? My biggest barrier is going back to school and not wanting to sit inside of a classroom because I feel like I don't know this. This is just something that I'm convincing myself, which is not really true, which is why I probably should stop speaking it into existence because on my vision board, it does have, it does show things, things for me to go back to school. So I do want to go back to school. I just have to get the courage and get that nerves away from me being inside of the classroom. I haven't been in school in 10 years and I don't see myself going back to school, but I have to see myself going back to school if I want to go back to school, right? That would make sense. So I want to be able to tell myself that I can do it. Like a lot of people telling me, oh, I believe in you, I believe in you, but I also have to believe in me too. So I have to stop saying that I can't do it because I tell my kids all the time, every time you say can't, you make it worse for your life because can't should not you should not be able to say can't because can't is you're you're missing out of you're knocking down your own possibilities for yourself because you're saying that you can't because you don't know if you can't yet because you haven't tried it right so i need to continue to tell myself that that i can do it and do it so that is a barrier that has stopped me and one of the barriers that I want to remove out of my life in 2022. I want to handle this school business and start back school in 2022. This is the year I'm going to do it, okay? Wish me luck, guys. Um, Number eight. I feel like, honestly, that is literally the only barrier 
that I have in my life that's stopping me from so many things. Like, oh, I want to save more. I want to, I've felt like last year I said that I want to buy, I want to not be so cheap and I want to buy the things that I want because I want, I'm going to, I can afford the things that I want. So I want to not be so cheap and I'm so proud of myself. So that isn't a barrier. I mean, it's still a barrier that I'm, I'm hesitant, but I've gotten so much better with buying things that I want just because I want them. But I want to get better with that too. I want to, I want to be able to balance a budget and saving and also buy the things that I want in my life. Uh, a barrier is I am telling myself that I am a relationship person. I know that I'm a relationship person, but it kind of sounds like I'm unable to be by myself and I don't know how to function with the dating and things like that. So I don't, I want that to also be a barrier that I let go for the new year that I don't want to think that, oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be in a relationship because... I'm not in a relationship now and I'm completely fine. <laughs> so yeah, that's another barrier. Uh number eight. What what's limiting what limiting belief do I need to release? This is a really hard one, but the first thing that comes to my mind is me believing that people don't have to be being negative is a choice i feel like with the a lot of things and my beliefs and my values again i'm not going to go against that but my personal beliefs is that i'm going to be honest at all times and i i don't like liars so i'm not going to lie to you but my intent is also not to hurt your feelings so when it comes to that it's kind of like I want to be able to release the thought of, well, you don't have to take it that way. See, it's, it's like a, it's kind of like a, a double standard in a sense. It's kind of like, wow, I didn't mean for it, for it to hurt your feelings. It wasn't my intent, but when it did hurt your feelings, it's like, oh, well, I don't care because I didn't mean to do that. So it's, you get what I'm saying? So I want to release the thought that, my honesty there isn't wrong with my nothing wrong with my honesty but i need to figure out how to continue to be the honest person that i am while caring about someone else's feelings when i am honest so i want to release that because that's limiting limit limiting me um number nine is what do i need to practice doing more or less of <sighs> what do i need to practice doing more or less of first of all i need to get back into my creative vibes i need to do more drawing more sketches even if i can doodle and sketch a little bit more daily i'll be proud of that so i need to do more of that um i need to do pray more of course you can never pray enough I need to do more of that. I need to, um, the relationships that I do have, I do need to own it and mold them deeply so they don't fade away because that's something that I've lacked a lot is being able to hold tightly to the people that are important to me. So I want to practice showing that I care for other people that are in my life. I want them to know on a regular basis that I love them so much and I care about them. Um, what can I do less? Spend money on the wrong things. Um, oh, more. I want to practice. I want to practice a healthy, I don't, I don't want to call it a diet, but healthier ways. I want to be more consistent in the, in the gym. I want to um, practice like drinking water. I was on it at first. Um, just a health, healthier ways. I want to practice that. Um, going back to the less of, I want to be less. Um, <laughs> I don't know, guys. I've become such a, a awesome, bright, loving, calm, spirited person. Where is that? 
a lot of the things that I have, I don't want to do less of. Like, I want to do more of. I want to show and give the light, you know? I want to be who I am. So, it's like, it's hard to say, what do I want to do less of? Um, my thoughts. I can say that I, I would like to get my thought process better. I want to think less of outcomes that hasn't even come yet. So I, I've been struggling with that. My mind goes faster than I would like it to go. So look at my eyebrows. Every time I talk, my eyebrows go up. <laughs> but anyways, my mind goes faster than what I would like it to do. So I want to do less of thinking, but not, not so much of, I'm not thinking at all, but I don't want to think so much of in the moment of uncertainty. Like when I'm not sure of what to do or how it's going to end or come out to be, I don't want to think of the 1 billion outcomes that can possibly happen. So I definitely want to do less of that. Um, I want to, what else do I want to do less of? Expectations. I don't want to continue get putting expectations on people and getting disappointment because expectations leads to disappointment. So I want to do less of that. I want to do less of sitting in the house. I want to do less of um, ignoring my my feelings. So when it comes to that, I want to write it down or talk about it in that moment or I want to do less of I don't I want to take accountability accountability so I would don't I want to do less of saying oh it's not my fault in a sense um I don't want to self-isolate anymore I know that I tend to do that a lot when I don't or when I need to recharge, recharge it is completely fine, but I don't want to people to feel like I don't want to be around them. So I want to do less of that. Um, what else do I want to be less of? I want to be less quiet. Like I know that I'm very outspoken, but some people may think that I'm quite timid. I want to continue being the, the balance between the two. Um, I think that that's it because I really genuinely feel like I'm a very, I'm a really good person and on the inside and out, I'm, I have a beautiful soul and yeah, not trying to toot my own horn, but you know, <laughs> I am a great person. Like if you would ask the people that are genuinely in my life right now, they can say that I'm a very, I'm a sweetheart. But I don't play about the people that I love. I will get buck at any moment because I got to do what I got to do at this point. You know you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I think that that's it. I want to be, I want to do more of being me. I want to do less of caring about what other people think because I, I've definitely strayed away from that so much this year and I am so proud of myself but yeah I want to do much less of that I want to do more about me and being about myself and being pulling out this femininity I do remember that in my last video last year around the same exact time I said that feminine my femininity will be my focus of 2021 and it has done it like I, I've seen myself as a pretty girl, I know that I'm beautiful, but I I was able to pull the feminine parts of me out. And I just want to keep doing that because it's magic. Like, it's really, really, really a magical piece to have being feminine. It's not, it's not sexy. It's, it's being, it's like in an feminine elegance type of known noticeable but silent version of yourself it's just so much to it it's, it's literally magic 
So I want to continue to push that. I'm very proud of myself of how successful that was this year. Um, and then number 10 is what, what one boundary do you need to implement to improve my peace? What one boundary do I need to implement to improve my peace in 2022? I said what I said. <laughs> I'm not, if that was one of my boundaries going into 2021 and it's my boundary going into 2022. I said what I said and yeah, but with that, it's going to be more of a thought out. I said what I said because I don't want it to be like, oh, I don't care about how it made you feel because I do want to care about how something I said made someone else, someone else feel. But I still, I still stand on. I said what I said. Um, what's another boundary? I'm not allowing someone to come and go out of my life when they please because I don't have many people or allow many people into my life. So when I allow you into my life, you're going to stay. You're going to stay for life. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that's a boundary. Um, I don't want to allow someone to consume my whole entire world. I still want to be first in my life. So that's a boundary that I'm going to set. Um, I don't want people in my life that don't love the same things that I love. Or another boundary is your spirit cannot coincide with mine. Like I know that I have a very very ooh, it's it's hard to describe the spirit that I have but it's it's like a sunshine that's a perfect description so that's a, that's my nickname my principal gave me because I do bring a lot of light and a lot of brightness and energy and I'm just yeah but you know sunshine ain't out the sun ain't always shining okay <laughs> So, uh, it's like, I don't know how to call it, but if you ask someone to describe me, that is what I call it. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's the boundaries. I want to continue to self care. I don't want some, someone to make me feel like me making myself important is not important. So if, if I, if someone comes into my life, my plants are flourishing, but anyway, if someone comes into my life and they have a problem with the way that I love me. That is a boundary that I'm not going to allow somebody to cross. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the end of my video. This is 10 questions that I needed to process. And I actually needed to answer because I wasn't really sure. Like these answers literally came right off the top of my head. I didn't even like think any of these questions through. So you guys got the first take on me processing and answer these questions before I wrap up 2021. These are some questions that you definitely should ask yourself if you want to do a video about it. Questions to ask yourself going into 2022. Definitely do so. Comment below if you have any questions or if you like this video, okay? And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because I deserve it, right? And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And those of you who have been loyally, loyally, <laughs> loyally watching my videos. I truly appreciate you. All right, guys, as you know it, I'm Tara J. Peace.